I just heard some uh, pastor giving uh, false advice to people. Basically, the gist of what he was saying was that uh, if you're uh, uh, the excuse that you're giving for your marriage failing, which most common excuse is we're incompatible, he said, grow up and uh, be uh, flexible. And basically, the point of his message was uh, forego the things you want to make the, another person happy. Uh, anyone who's been, it's easier said than done. Anyone who's been in a relationship uh, under the under the marriage uh, laws with somebody living together knows that there is a certain amount of time you can forego what you want without becoming uh, bitter and angry, asking yourself, why should I forego the things I want, the things I've worked for, the money that I've earned, because someone else doesn't like it. And... Uh, if you force a woman to do something against her will, if she wants to go somewhere for uh, dinner and you choose someplace else or wants to go to a certain person's house for a certain celebration and you say, no, let's go to my family for this and all that, she might, uh, she might uh, forego what she wants to do for about half a day, uh, but then you'll pay for it dearly. If you've been in a relationship with a woman, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, my, basic my basic belief is that, uh, you know, the actual marriage contract is an artificial thing. And artificial things just don't work. They just don't last. They're a poor substitute for natural things. Natural is you are uh, in a relationship with a person of the opposite sex that you like. And you get together when you want. Both of you mutually want to get together. And then when you don't, you go your own ways until the next time you want to get together. That is a healthy, normal relationship and they could work for decades. But when you're living together with someone, you know, day in, day out, it's unnatural. That's why tensions come up. That's why it doesn't work. It, it only works when you force yourself to compromise. And then if you're a wise uh, thinking person, you ask yourself, wait a minute why why should i compromise why should i forego what i want to do because uh to to please somebody else in exchange for what and then when you add the illegal uh, uh marriage contract uh, devised in the west by some lawyers on top of that situation then it makes a bad situation a million times worse you know, this is not coming from bitterness. I personally have not been married. I have learned uh, by choice, of course. I've learned from the mistakes of others and I decided to avoid it. Uh, it comes from a place of logic. I certainly, as I've said before, love being with women, but when I want to be with them. And I'm sure there are times when women want to be alone. They want to be with their girlfriends as opposed to their um, so-called significant other. Relationship where you are together morning, noon, and night, or when you're living together and everything, it begins and ends with a compromise, and it's a guarantee uh, creator of bitterness. So just because some pastor uh, babbled about something uh, just to uh, get more donors to his church, it doesn't mean that's truth. Actually, marriage was something that, that was uh, originally started by religion, and we all know when you rely on religion. Uh, where it gets you. All the best and Merry Christmas to all.